Hey everybody, Davey here from Davey's World Fishing. Today I'm going to talk to you about the brand new Okuma Signature Surf Rods. These things are awesome, four piece rods, long casting, check them out. <laughs> So over the past couple years, Okuma has been very known for its travel series of rods. Uh, whether it was the Nomad, the SST, even the Citrix rods, and of course uh, the Nomad boat, the Nomad uh, long casting surf rods. But uh, Okuma no longer has the Nomad name. They sold it off to the Nomad Bait Company, and they reintroduced all of their rods into the Voyager series of rods. Voyager has been a series of rods for Okuma for several years on the travel side, but this year they've really fattened it up, and these, uh, these rods are excellent. The one I want to show you right now is the new Voyager Surf Rods. These are long casting rods. There's actually three models in the series. They're all spinning. They're either a nine foot or a 10 foot. The nine foot rod comes in a medium action. The 10 foot, you're either going to get a medium heavy or a heavy action. As I mentioned, long casting, all four piece rods, but really well built. I've been using that Nomad version for many years. You may have seen some of the videos I did on that out in Hawaii. But uh, the new Voyager ones are, are excellent as well. Let's assemble this rod. We'll take a look at some of the components and uh, we'll take a look. All right, as I'm gonna put this rod together here, we'll talk about some of the components. I'm actually gonna put a reel on here and we'll take a look at what, this, what the action on this thing actually looks like once it's loaded up. But uh, I'll put this thing together here and we'll start down at that butt section and we'll work our way to the top. So down on the butt section here, you have a nice rubber gimbal section at the bottom there. So you're gonna get non-slip. You can stick that in the sand. It feels really good into your hand. If you happen to use this on a boat, I know some of these guys are using these for striper for long cast. You don't get any slipping on a boat deck as well. Coming up from there, you actually have a shrink wrap EVA fore and rear grip. Nice and comfortable in the hand for those really long casts. You have a Fuji DPS reel seat, which is a screw up reel seat. So you put your reel in there this way, of course, without being spinning. And then you just screw right on up and it's going to lock that reel in tight. Moving on up from there, just like all the Voyager rods, you actually have the European spigot ferrule design. So that ferrule connection there, as you can see, it's a real long ferrule connection that slides easily into the butt section. So that goes in about that far there and it gives it a true one piece feel. I'll load this thing up so you can take a look at it. But moving on up, you've got a, a nice 24 ton graphite blanks, so you could really load this thing up long cast. Moving on up, you have the forward facing Fuji guides with the uh, Faz Light inserts. Those are a very durable insert there, so you can use it with braided lines. A lot of the surf cast want to use strictly mono, but if you're using braid, you're not going to have any digging into those guides there. Then moving on up here to the next section, you also have the European Spigot Ferrule. So a nice long ferrule connection. As you can see, that one went in about that far there, so almost four inches. Then you move on all the way up to that tip section there as well. And there you have uh, one more of that long butt into tip section on that European spigot ferrule. It's got the uh, Okuma's UFR tip section there, so you could really load these things up, use those heavy baits, and just cast them a mile. Awesome little rods, but let's, uh, let's put a reel on this thing. We'll load it up, and you can actually see what the action looks like on this rod. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I threw a reel on here. I happen to have a Cedros 10,000 spinning reel. I've got some braid and I've got it attached to a uh, about a 30 pound bucket full of, full of dirt there. So we'll go ahead and just load this up. I just want to show you what the action of this rod is. It's got a nice parabolic feel for your long cast, but I want to show you how it's got a true one piece feel to it, which is really cool for a, uh, for a four piece travel rod that you're going to stick in the back seat of your car. So let's load this dude up and let's take a look here. So as you can see, you can really load that guy up and you get a nice parabolic feel to that rod there. This is the nine foot medium action. So with that, uh, with that medium weight there, you're not going to have the heaviest of action, but you can still cast the baits an absolute mile. Uh, you know, like I said, it comes in a 10 foot medium heavy and then a 10 foot heavy as well. This is the nine foot uh, medium. It's the only one I have, but four piece rod. Look how you can really load that rod up there. and really horse some fish in. If you're fishing over any kind of cliffs or anything where you need to actually have some, some vertical to it, you can really get those fish in there. True one piece, those European spigot ferrules all the way up there, give it that one piece feel to it. Not like your standard two piece where you got a little bit of a flat spot. This thing's got a nice bend to it all the way down. But that's the new Okuma Voyager Signature Surf Rods. Those are all four piece rods. Check them out at okumafishingusa.com. But I do appreciate y'all checking in. Do me a favor, hit that like button down below and subscribe to Davies World Fishing up in the right-hand corner. See you on the water.